right, guys, these are the last of the locks to come out of Scruffy's package from Norway. When I look at these locks, it reminds me of the high-quality training locks I was always able to find when I lived in Europe. Almost all of these have good bidding, as you'll see on these. Look, check that out. doesn't get any better than that. And the fact that these also come with security bits. Almost all the padlocks I ever ran into in Europe came with security pins, and almost none of them do here in North America. It just uh, raises the awareness of the difference in attitudes towards security. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, pick these. These do make great training locks. You see it's only about 40 million, pretty easy to hold in your hand. It's got a nice paracentric key, which the Yale style. And combine that with something like this. You can have a little fight on your hand. So let's see if we can get these guys open. I'm going to try, uh, because of this keyway, I'm going to go ahead and use bottom of the keyway tensioning because I'm going to have to pick from that ledge on the right side. And the normal Yale takes this one, but this is a little bit smaller keyway. So I'm going to take the middle thickness tensioner, the one with the white, and there we go. You see it doesn't get bound up. Perfect. All right, it's still kind of wide, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use the thickest pick I can. I'll start off with this guy. This is the uh, Tron from Sparrows. Had a lot of Yales lately. I've been getting a lot of use out of this thing. So that's my pick of choice with Yale. All right, all the way in. I'm going to start off with moderate tension. And on locks that have security pins, your goal is to get a start off with a false set. that pick out of there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how it turns just a little bit? That tells you that you got the standard pin out of the way. That's usually the first one to bind and now you're probably hung up on some, in the case of Yale, probably spools. So now I'm going to use heavy tension and let me zoom in so I don't have to hold that up and you'll be able to see when I find that spool because See how we're getting counter-rotation when I push up on the pin? The lock, the, the core tries to go the opposite direction and it needs to turn to open. So that tells you you're hung up on a spool. You need to fit him through that chamber. So let's take it easy, release a little bit of tension and try to work him in place. Come on. Okay, clicked and now look at there. We've lost our most of our fault set. So we'll go back and look. And there, I touched pin 5, got it back. Again, I'm looking for kind of rotation, and there it is on pin 3. Come on. And there we go, we got pin 3. We still got our fault set, so now we're going to go for the next spool. I'm going to start from the front and just work my way back. Looking for that counter rotation. And I'm on pin five. Okay, he's fallen back down. So clearly I picked him out of sequence. So I'm getting counter rotation on five. Come on. And I got a good click on him. Find the next one. There it is, four. Nice deep false set again. See what I mean about tough locks? Okay, here we are. We're on two. A little bit of counter rotation there. And there we go. Great training locks. You want to learn how to pick spools. This definitely is the way to go, these little Yales. The cores are not removable, but a little cheap, inexpensive lock like that. You wouldn't expect it. All right, let's try this guy. Uh, show you what the pinning <laughs> looks like. Yeah. I think Scruffy picked these out, but it doesn't matter what the bidding looks like because the lock will tell you which pin needs to be picked. All right, let's try it again. All the way in, light tension, and let's try to get a fault set. I'm just bouncing on the pins, and if you go through bouncing and you don't get a fault set on the first pass through, just release your tension and start over. It's free. Okay, I probably overset somebody, so let's start again. All the way in, light tension. Find that standard pin and get that false set started. 
Come on. There it is right there. It was pin two. He's high. High cut. Check one. No counter rotation. Okay, I'm on four. I'm getting some pretty good counter rotation. So I'm going to make sure you position your pick right on the tip of him. Otherwise, you might overset somebody in the front. And there we go. Get the pick out of there. Great training locks. If you're lucky enough to live in Europe and you have access to one of these little Yales, and I'm guessing that that's the, the uh, model number, you might want to grab one and learn how to pick spools very quickly. These will, these will make you good in a hurry. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay legal, scruffy. Thanks for the locks, man.